Hello everyone, today we're going to look at how to solve the first order PDE. Now the first order PDE or partial differential equations is given by A partially over partial X plus B partial U over partial Y plus CU equals to F. Sometimes you can also write the notation as a subscript of U. Something like this. Okay. Now there are two ways to solve this. So um, to solve this PDE, the first one we can use Kerastrit method. The second one you can also use coordinate. Okay, so we're going to look at um, two ways to solve this. First, by using Kerastrit equation. Now, the idea of this um, of these two methods is to reduce uh, PDE to a transform. PDE that is um that, that this transform here means is your first order ODE okay so now when this P is reduced to first order ODE you can use any other method that you have you have learned to solve this such as separable variable Okay, you separate the variable so for example if I have um, partial u over partial x equals to x so I can separate the variable and now you integrate okay and you can also use uh, integrating factor If you recall, you have the integrating factor Vx equal to E exponent Px, Vx. Okay, now this integrating factor, um, obviously your first order ODE should look like this. Y prime plus Pxy equals to F. So when F is 0, normally you use separable variable. When F is non-zero, you can use integrating factor okay so so um to, to, to start this um there's a few things we need to say we need to say that now the u that we're going to solve u x y is also known as u psi eta okay so my x is now psi and my y is now eta so Assuming that this is true, we can actually solve. So, meaning like my equation now will be involving uh, psi and eta, and then you can uh, solve this using um, either separable or iterative factor, and then you transform back into uh, x and y. Okay, so let's look at the first method, which is known as characteristic method. Okay, there are four steps to use characteristic method. The step one, step one is to find the characteristic curve known as dy dx equals to b over a. Okay, so where does b over a come from? So we're looking at um, first order PDE. Okay, this is my first order PDE. So the A and B are the coefficient appear uh, in this um, first order PDE. Obviously, you need to find Y, Yx. So if you integrate the solution to obtain Y equals to something. Okay, now step two. 
step two will be uh, where you substitute into this first introducing uh, partial omega over partial psi plus c over a omega equals to f over a. Okay, once we solve this, now we're going to institute c and a obtained from the coefficient here, and then this is, looks like a first order. This is similar to first order ODE y prime plus pxy equals to f. And then you can use either um, separable or integrating factor. Okay, in most cases you look at integrating factor. Now there's another step. The step three will be uh, we solve. Okay, when I say solve for omega psi eta. Okay, so we write in this form and then we solve it. Obviously, solve using these two approach. Now your final step, you transform back. Omega psi eta to u x y. Okay, so this is a method solve the first order PDE using casuality. Now let's look at one example. Okay, let's look at one example given the problem. x partially over partial x plus y partially over partial y um, maybe equals to 2u. Okay, so we're going to solve using characteristic approach. Okay, so remember there are four steps that we need to consider. Okay, first step is to find dy dx. But before we do that, make sure the following equation now in the form of uh, in the standard form. So the standard form is given by a u x plus b u y plus c u equals to x. So I can write this as x u x plus y u y minus 2 u equals to 0. So you can know that my a is x, b is y, c equals to minus 2, and f equals to 0. Okay, now step 1 is to find dy dx equals to b over a, which is y over x. So what is y? So, we can separate the variable. Which is dx over x. Okay, obviously I need to use um, integrating this one. I will obtain ln y equals to ln x plus gamma. This gamma is the constant. Now, this gamma is also for eta. Gamma is for eta. Okay, gamma is, gamma is eta. Okay, now this can be solved by taking the exponent. Exponent on every equation will give me y equals to exponent ln x plus gamma which is y equals to x gamma. Therefore, gamma equals to y over x. Okay, so this gamma is my eta. Okay, this is my, uh, this is our first step. Now, let's look at second step. The second step will be to write in this form. 
plus c over a omega equals to f over a. Now, when we write in this form, we have, okay, c now we know what, a minus 2, a is x, omega f is 0. Now, now look at x here, you cannot integrate this or solve this because there is psi, omega and x, but we know that our x is our gamma. So, we can change this to partial, sorry. Partial. partial omega over partial psi minus 2 over psi omega equals to 0. Now, since f is 0, I can use separable variable to solve this. So, 2 over psi v psi. Now, Integrating ln w equals to 2 ln psi. Remember, we have a constant plus c or gamma, but because this is a partial, we need to, the constant will be our function of d. So, meaning I have a, I have a function d here. Okay, and eta will be the eta that we already found earlier on. Now, taking the exponent, we have w omega equals to exponent 2 ln psi plus d eta. Now, by the property of ln, we have eta squared d eta. Okay, so this is our step 2. Where we have obtained, we have... Um, Actually, it is our step 3. Sorry, this is our step 3. Okay, let me fix this. This is not step 2. This is... Uh, well, step 2 and step 3, pretty much. Okay, so this is step 2. This is step 2. Now, to solve this, this is our step 3, where we solve from omega. Now, once you have solved this, our step 4 will be is to transform back. So, we have obtained omega equals to psi squared d eta. Now, this omega is my uxy x squared f. Now, eta, on the first time, we have obtained eta equal to y over x. So, therefore, this is the equation that you have obtained for that particular problem given. Okay, now let me add something. If, let's say, the question given initial condition, is given, let's say, ux1 equals to cos x. So, I can solve this because ux1, which is my x squared f of 1 over x. So, when y is 1, equals to cos x. Okay, now to do this, so let's assume, let's assume uh, theta equals to 1 over x, so that x equals to 1 over theta. Now, we have x squared, which is 1 over theta squared, 1 over theta squared, x squared, f of theta equals to cos, x is 1 over theta. Now, f theta will give me theta squared cos 1 over theta. Therefore, you can say that f of y over x equals to y over x squared cos x over y, 1 over theta, so y over x, okay? So, when you obtain this, so this equation now will reduce to uxy equals to x squared, which is y squared over x squared cos x over y. Now, you can simplify this and give you that solution.